is Fighter Group in Arua City, a local community group focused on solving community problems with a slogan Say No to Aggravated Robbery in Arua City and West Nile region at large held a peaceful demonstration at the Resident City Commissioner's Office over the illegal release of two suspected notorious robbers that were arrested and detained at Arua Central Police Station on the 13th of May 2024. The local community group members stormed the Resident City Commissioner's Office demanding for an audience with the city leadership. Saidi Suleiman Onjima, a community elder, accused the deputy resident city commissioner, Zamaha Mezamil, for conniving with the parents of the suspected thieves and the district police commander to forge documents to release the suspects in question. The fourth day of the operation, we came and arrested some boys. So these boys were brought here and the men of the community there, they confirmed to us that these are criminals. One of the evidence is also here. This guy came with some ladies, these ladies who these guys have been chasing here. He came with the, that man meeting this uh, your, your, your duty. From there the duty came to meet the DPC. They forged some documents there to come and release these boys. The documents which we did not not see. So the youth were provoked. They said they want to go and arrest this program. I said, no, it is not lawful. Let us come here to confirm to you whether what we are doing is it lawful or not lawful. Atiku Abdul Latif Juma, the L1 chairperson of Oli Bissell, Tanganyika Ward, Arua City requested the resident city commissioner to have an immediate arrest of the two suspected thieves in less than 24 hours. Our operation is clear. Even the last operation where we arrested those two boys, it was very professional. And it was not we, it was the request of the RPC, if the RPC could be here. Through the operation commander, if indeed the DPC RPC said those boys are innocent, why do the people keep us a room with my team? To verify those boys, indeed, they are not a, they are not doing criminality. Why? Our men coming here. Actually, we wanted to talk when those two boys are still in the cell. Those two boys who they lived yesterday, we just did like a 24 hours. We need those boys to be in the cell. <laughs> what is it to the worst? Then if you are coming to release them, let us work as a team. This group, this group, and your group, then we release them. Senior Superintendent of Police Bwambale Emmanuel, the Arwa District Police Commander, stated that investigations in relation to the release of the two suspected thieves is underway. You know, ever since we started, since we had here a meeting, no suspect has been released and unclear circumstances. Like in any other society, there are challenges. The release of the two boys yesterday, I think there was some confusion caused some, by some few individuals. However, I said I'm not going to talk everything. <laughs> However, if it's uh, being done to ensure that the right thing is done, is done. Uh, serious instructions have been given and serious investigations are going on. One thing I want to ask you people, let's continue the way we have been working and we should meet the way we have been meeting. Meanwhile, Zama Hamizamel, the Deputy Resident City Commissioner, Arua Central Division, apologized to the members of the Peace Fighter Group for being misled by parents of the suspected thieves committing not to make such mistakes again. <laughs> And my His worship Wadris Sam Nyakwa, the mayor for Arwa City, thanked the peace fighters group for their coordination with the police to curbing crime in Arwa City. He further urged the group members to forgive Ezama Hamizamel for the mistakes made. I want to applaud you. I want to thank you. 
for now doing the very right thing. We have uh, decided don't do any operation without the DPC. Yes. Because for them, they are the trained people. The police is the trained uh, 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 force. Eh, eh, yo ha mungondi. Ale pia yi. Charles Ishogor, the resident city commissioner, Arwa City, applauded the peace fighting group for forgiving the deputy resident city commissioner, Ezamaha Mezamel, urging the members to continue to work together for peace and security in the city. I'm very happy that Ham has apologized to you. And you have accepted the apology. <laughs> Let's continue working together. If we want to bring peace in this city, we must work together. Yeah. I normally say we must work shoulder by shoulder so that you enjoy peace in this city. And let's continue consulting because the NRM government under the visionary leadership of General Yoweri Kabutam Seveni, the first thing they did was to fight for peace. peace. Yeah. And that's why we are all concerned. Mm. And that's why we thank you for joining us, the security team, to fight for peace through remnants. I call them remnants. Yeah. And we must eliminate all of them. Peace, Oshaki, Akumoringa Christine, West Nile Television, Nilecast.